welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you how to make haitian cassav uh this here is called yuca otherwise known as mayok in creole mayok and i want to apologize because i don't have a clip unfortunately of removing the outer layer the skin of the yuca so bear with me hopefully i can make another video in the future where it's extremely detailed but this is what it looks like with the skin removed all clean we used about three large yucas so you want to make sure that you have a grater you want to finely grate your yuca your mayok uh, make sure that um, you're putting in that work putting in that elbow work uh, this is my mom showing me step by step on how to make it i really want to get into you know creating more haitian traditional dishes and kasab is a well-known dish in haiti so hopefully i will be showing you in the future a video of me myself only making this delicious kasab kasab can also be paired with some avocado otherwise known as zaboka in creole uh, people like to eat it with peanut butter um, peanut butter is really good with it, it makes it sweet there's also going to be a sweet version of this that i upload it's going to be really similar but just showing brown sugar but that's going to be another video hopefully uploaded this week so this is after grating the yuca you know this is me uh showing a clip of me touching it i just want to really feel how the texture is and it's really moist you could literally feel all the moisture that's in it and that's why you're going to need a cloth in this next step where you're going to strain all of the moisture from this grated yuca um you're going to need a lot of elbow work i'm telling you i was assisting her off camera of course and <laughs> i got a couple muscles doing this so you won't regret it if you upset even better because it's going to get all the moisture out the first time but she's just showing me you know how to strain it make sure all of the liquid is out as much as possible you don't want you know moisture really left in it the results won't be you know the outcome won't be too good but you're not going to get rid of this uh what we're collecting in the bowl all the juices coming out you want to make sure that you keep that and i'm going to tell you why later on in the video shortly uh, but this is her showing me how she places it in the cloth and just continues to strain it non-stop um, also the price of this is um, inexpensive I think she said that she purchased three of them for about five dollars so it's an inexpensive dish as well so this is the aftermath of getting all the moisture out um, you're gonna let this sit for about an hour because um, all of the starch is gonna basically be at the bottom of the bowl and it's needed this is the aftermath so this is after getting rid of that um getting rid of the water basically and this is her showing me you know with the with the gloves um also i forgot to mention you know the starch that's left on the bottom where i told you to get rid of the water it's called amidon in creole i did not want to forget to mention the pronunciation of that but you basically need that that's the starch that's collected from the water so she's showing me you know hey you got to make sure that uh, it's basically like finely um finely grated and it's like a powder type consistency remember earlier i told you it had all this moisture in it but now that we've strained it uh, you know get rid of like if there's like skin from the um from earlier remove that anything that you see so she's just going through it also i'm gonna have steps in the description box so please feel free to read it don't forget to comment subscribe and everything so we used approximately about a tablespoon of salt just make sure we uh put that in there make sure it's mixed really well uh it's not supposed to be really salty or anything so a tablespoon a tablespoon is sufficient for about the three yucas that we use so now you're gonna need your frying pan make sure that the temperature is on medium and go ahead and get a few handfuls of the powdered yuca and put it on the pan so this is on medium and we're just making sure that it's you know uh, it's nicely coated and then after that we're gonna cover it right my mom ends up covering the pan for about three minutes and this is her moving around make sure nothing is sticking and look at that bottom now 
I want to let you know that we repeat this process twice. You're not going to cook both sides. You only cook one side and you repeat this twice because you're going to layer them here. This is where we layer them. So we have one that we made on the bottom and then another one on top we put together. And then she's just pressing it down to make sure like it sticks. So you, you do that process twice. It's like a, basically a sandwich. Think of a sandwich. And this is me just showing how it looks. This is the outcome. It's really good. Um, but yeah, it, it, it stuck well together. This just, you know, the, the edges. You can see the edges where it was joined. But this concludes the video. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tell me how you enjoyed everything. Tell me if you learned anything, if you're going to try this. All right, till next time.